check out this cross member. It's a Ford G body with a 350 turbo transmission. Looks to be a good piece. Just came in the mail today. So, thought somebody out there building a G body using a 350 turbo transmission might be interested in this. I'm going to put this in my 79 Cutlass. Currently, the car has a 400 turbo in it, and it has a, a 200 R4 cross member out of like a 86 Grand Prix, and that bolted a 400 turbo into that car, but it still, I had to notch it out and shit to run some fat pipes without having to drop one of them down and shit. But pretty much had to refabricate the cross member to make it clear three and a half inch pipes. That was a hassle. And what I paid for this motherfucker is I'd pay that to not have to do it. And this one looks way prettier Got a nice powder coat finish on it. Double hump. Got the single bolt hole for the trans mount. But I'm putting a small block Chevy, the 500 plus horse 357 I've been picking with. And it's going in the Cutlass for now. Um, the 400 turbo and it is a BOP pattern I don't want to run no adapters and shit and with a small block you know, 350 turbo in stock form you might get it to hold 400 horse but you can put good sprag in them and all the tricks of the trade, a good manual valve body and shit, and the alto red clutches and the coals and shit, the steels, beef them up to hold a pretty good bit of power. There's people running 350 turbos behind 1,000 horse turbo engines and making them live. So it's, and a 350 turbo takes less power to spin it than the big 400 does. I consider the 400 turbo mainly to be a, a big block transmission. If you got a shitload of torque, a big ass engine, you're probably better off with the 400 turbo unless you spend a shitload of money then you can make anything work you spend enough money on it the super stockers are using the 200 metric transmissions that came out behind 110 horse engines and shit they're making them live behind six seven hundred plus horse engines but they ain't cheap 350 turbo is pretty cheap. It's about as cheap as it gets in the world of automatic transmissions. Uh, on the street, I prefer a manual transmission. Trying to run a big cam on the street. Four or five thousand stall gets old pretty quick. Something you drive all the time. So manual trans is much more forgiving, but uh, on a, at the track, you're better off with a, a badass automatic, full manual automatic with a killer stall and shit. Just more 
consistent and plus it's easier on parts and fucking the sticks I have a way of breaking shit so we're gonna go with the 350 turbo and the cutlass and this is the cross member I'm gonna use to do it I picked this unit up from Jigs shipped to the door it was like $140 not bad I looked at a few of them and I was looking at a G-Force cross member and they're like $330 and then they had a, another one that was similar to it and it was 250 ish average and then they had this from Jig it's a Jig's house brand $140 to the door and it totally worked for what I'm trying to do and I'm keeping with the spirit of spend the least amount of money possible but still get the desired results and this is the easiest way to get a 350 turbo bolted in that car I have a 350 turbo G body cross member but them fucking the stock ones the mount is offset so the trans mount on the transmission kicks over and this motherfucker here is like over here. So it's a funny ass mount. I don't know why in the hell they done that. It's totally unnecessary. But this is a center style. So you just run a regular transmission mount. Use a urethane. Use solid motor mounts and a urethane transmission mount. put solid transmission mount in them before and broke the fucking transmission so it's better to have a little give somewhere you lock it all down rigid and the fucking G bodies they like to twist and they'll break a fucking bell housing pretty quick if it's all bolted solid to the frame so urethane is where it's at pretty good welds I'm sure it was robot Most big fucking companies making shitloads of parts have replaced all the workers with robots so but it's, it'll do the trick it's fairly light. And that G-Force fucker looked a lot chunkier. Probably weighed twice as much. That's something else. I'm trying to keep the weight to a minimal. It's lighter the car, the less power it takes to run the number. Not to mention lighter is easier on parts. You can get by with shit. Like, heavier the car, the stronger the shit's got to be. You, know, you put a 400 horse engine in a 5,000 pound vehicle, you're going to need a fucking Dana 70 or something under that ass end. Where a 400 horse in a 2,500 pound car, a fucking 7.5 a hold up, 10 volt. There it is, that's your Jigs 350 Turbo Cross member for a G body. 78 to 87. Pretty good deal.